A new wave of Democrats is entering the Congress, of course, when their top interest, they say, one of their top public policy priorities, disarming the population. Just a decade ago, about a quarter of candidates backed by the NRA were, in fact, Democrats. Now the number of NRA-backed House Democrats is three. Meanwhile, a new poll of Democrats in early primary states says their top issue after single-payer health care is repealing the Second Amendment in order to ban guns. Richard Goodstein is a lawyer and a former advisor to Bill and Hillary Clinton, and she, he joins us tonight. Richard, thanks for coming on. Sure. So is this really the time, as the country's becoming more chaotic, to disarm the population? Yeah. So um, I can't really speak for these people who responded to this poll. I can tell you what Nancy Pelosi is talking about, what House Democrats are talking about, which is background checks, which 90 percent plus of the public supports, which got 54 votes in the Senate when it was Toomey and Manchin of uh, putting a bill to require okay, gun Okay, okay. You know, I mean, we've been through this a million times, yeah. but, but if, if Democrats polled in what seems like a legitimate poll, say their number two issue after socialized medicine is repealing the Second Amendment, preparatory to disarming the population, you know, there are going to be calls for that. If the people, the voters want it, you know, their, their representatives will call for it. Is this the time, and shouldn't it make us, the rest of us, a little nervous as America's getting crazier, obviously, to disarm normal people? Yeah. Uh, again, I just don't buy the notion that that was a legit poll that even a quarter of Democrats think repealing the Second Amendment. What do you I, think of that? What, what, what I think the Democrats are saying is, look, is what Justice Scalia said in the famous Heller decision, the one case that really went to the Supreme Court where he said a person has a right to a handgun to protect their home, period, and that legitimate regulation of guns in terms of places that they can't be taken, schools, uh, places that, you know, Conditions on their sale. But we have all those laws already. I mean, the, but I'm saying those. Are the, so okay. no one's talking about repealing that. You no, know, people are. And let's. Be, I mean, let's stop lying just for a second. Yeah. You're not going to stop mass shootings, really, unless you take all the guns away. That's the truth, and everyone knows it. I mean, honestly. Yeah. So that's kind of the goal, and everyone really knows that. And I'm just wondering, like, what's the argument here? So if you're arguing simultaneously that the police are racist and can't be trusted, which Beto and lots of other candidates have argued. And also, the population can't be trusted to defend itself or have firearms. What are you really saying? I think what <clears throat> Democrats are saying, and frankly, Republicans wish they had been saying it because the ones backed by the NRA, Barbara Comstock, uh, Mike Hoffman in Colorado, lost to Democrats saying, we want background check laws and so forth. And what they're saying is that things have gotten out of whack. The United States is unique in the world. It's not a mental health problem. There are mental health problems everywhere else in the world. But we have this horrible gun problem here. No, but so actually, we don't because most Americans are not a threat to anybody. And this is what makes me nervous, is a small percentage of people commit the overwhelming majority of shootings. Question. But we're not thinking clearly about how to disarm them. All of these laws apply to me. I pose no threat to anyone, and I really want to be able to defend myself. I know you do, too. So why not leave me out of it and normal people out of it who pose no conceivable threat and focus on the potential threats? But no one's ever... No one's ever up for doing that. Right. We all have to be disarmed. Of Why? Course. Well, again, no one's talking about disarming anybody. No, what they Nancy, are. No, what, no. Well, what, 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 what no, elected officials are saying is we should have background checks so lunatics no, that's don't that. have no, but, the access to but guns. But the, the, most, the most recent shooting and many of these shootings have been committed by people who went through background checks. Stephen Paddock went through a background check. The latest shooter, in, uh, obviously, who you just saw in California, went through a background check. The truth is it's not just background checks, which nobody really opposes. It's oh. limiting the kind of firearms you can buy, limiting the size of the magazines you can use, limiting the kinds of ammunition you can purchase. These are laws, restrictions that affect normal people who should be able to defend themselves. Why is that? But when you say that nobody really opposes, when you get Republican leaders here, it please ask them to affirm irrelevant. the fact that they don't oppose. Well, it's we relevant. Have, you start, look, no, but hold on. Remember we, we had, have background. I mean, let's be serious. Yeah. Background checks are, I buy guns, so I know. Right. They're in place. You go through them when you buy a gun. Why would a magazine restriction or an ammo restriction or a so-called assault rifle restriction apply to me? Why, doesn't, why am I not trusted to buy any kind of gun I want? I'm confused, honestly. Well, again, the analogy I would use is to the ways we basically made cars safer. There used to be a lot more fatalities on the road, and we institute things like seat belts and, and airbags and other things, vehicles that could basically crush without crushing the passenger. And and background checks is the first way to go. No, no but, but then, then why? No, sincere question, yeah. though. The assault rifle ban, a gun that looks scary, should be banned, okay? That's the position. And a lot of candidates says they should be confiscated. Why should my right to buy that gun be abridged? Why can't being, I be? No, it is, though. Well, no one's being, if you object but to why being. Why shouldn't I be able to buy that gun? 
Uh, I'm an American citizen. I don't pose a threat to anybody. Why can't I have that gun? I, I think the concern is that people get their hands on assault weapons who commit these crimes. If you want to use your assault weapon on a range, you guess what? Go to a range and keep your gun there and use it there. Maybe I want it in my house. And why? I, I don't understand. So you what, want an assault weapon to is, defend your house? It, what you're saying is we don't trust the population of the country. We don't think you're autonomous. We don't think you ought to be able to make these decisions for yourself. We just don't trust you. And I'm saying, why would I ever vote for someone who wouldn't trust me to have an AR-15 at home, honestly? Well, well, again, it's like saying we didn't trust people to drive without seatbelts or airbags and so forth, but we instituted things that were going to make people safer. What we're saying is no, that... but you don't use a car to defend yourself. And you do use a firearm to defend yourself. And why wouldn't you trust... People. No. Why wouldn't you trust the 330 million people in the country, hundreds of millions of them pose no conceivable threat to anybody? Right. So why can't we think of a law that spares them these regulations? Is anybody even trying to think of that? Of course they are. But oh, the, really? Who? Well, but again, we're, we're taking it step by step. <laughs> we're taking it step by step. <laughs> yes, we and are. Listen, and, and ask any suburban mother. That's the problem politically, uh -huh. is that these people that, that you lost politics. last time are going to be lost because they don't want more you, guns in school. The left is making this country chaotic and scary. Yeah. And simultaneously trying to keep me from defending myself. The voters just happen not happen. to buy what you just said. I don't care. And, and that's why the Democrats won. I don't care. Okay. okay. We'll see. Yeah. Richard, thank you. Thank you.